Hi guys, this is Kara from Cosplay Creations, co-founder, co-creator, as you guys should know by now, I would hope. If you haven't already, like us on Facebook, follow us, see what we're doing, because I'm always posting new nerdy things that we're working on, probably to the point of distraction. Now, we do have a new embroidery machine, so we are working on things like patches and um, embroidered shirts. Check it out, I just finished this one. Okay. Yes, I like Harley. Bite my ass. Now, we're going to be making bags. Special bags, special nerdy bags. Uh, we are marketing them as makeup bags. However, this is a thick canvas. This would actually be really great for cosplay emergency kits. Okay, it's got more than enough room in there for your sewing supplies, any extra makeups. Because I know, like, I do clowns. I always do really makeup heavy costumes. So any of that backup stuff, like just in case I go in the middle of a con, I have I have something there to you know with me that looks good but it's still versatile. Okay, so guys, don't think you can't buy this because it says makeup bag. Honestly, this is a great emergency cosplay kit. Now, <clears throat> I've got right now about six designs sitting in front of me that we've already done into patches or we're in the process of doing into patches. These are the same designs that we will be using on the bags with minor alterations. So it's basic symbols or designs versus having to do all the extra fill-in. What I mean by fill-in is check it out. This is the patch for the Harley Puddin. Okay? See all this extra silver? This won't be on the bag. It'll be closer to this design. Okay? Without all that extra stuff, it'll be the fabric behind it. So you'll get the diamonds, the hat, and the puddin with the little heart. Little heart. Okay? Without having all that extra seam work. So it actually makes it cheaper on you and easier on me. Okay? <clears throat> so we have the puddin. For those of you who aren't paying attention, puddin. We've also got our horde symbol, which again isn't quite done yet. Okay, these turned out fantastic. I'm so happy that we finally figured out what the issue was. Now we do have some that were part of our uh, learning experience. So these ones are actually on sale right now for three dollars a piece because they will be much higher for the final finished product. But there's minor issues with each of these, so check it out. There we go. We have the alliance. We have Pikachu, and we have the Nightmare Before Christmas, okay? We've also got a couple of Sailor Moons. I've actually got two Sailor Moons and two Pikachus, but we've got one of each of these, okay? Sorry, my camera angle is all weird today, guys. Okay, so we've got one of each of these, two of each of these, but these ones are on sale for $3 a piece right now. However, once the final product is done, we're looking anywhere between probably 7 and $12 per patch, depending on which patch, how big, how many colors, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so um, depending on which design you get on the bag is depending on the price. We will have the prices set and everything up for sale here in the next couple of days, probably. Work's going to be kind of crazy this week, but I'm going to do what I can to get all of this up. We will be selling the shirts again. Okay, we will be selling the shirts. However, we're not sure at this point whether they're going to be tanks or t-shirts. Uh, we have better access to t-shirts than we do to tanks, but I like them on tanks because... I don't like wearing t-shirts. I like tank tops. Anyway, so we will let you know. Right now, we're working on camis. We're working on the rib tanks. We're probably going to be working on some t-shirts here soon for the guys with <clears throat> probably not Puddin. I'm going to assume it's probably going to be like Horde and Alliance and possibly Pikachu because I live with grown babies. That's about how that works. So... We are going to be doing the t-shirts. We're, we're doing our best to get a good price on the t-shirts and tanks so that way we can get you guys the best price possible. Speaking of prices, our price has increased on shipping. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about it. It's a USPS price increase across the board for everybody. I believe they said it was 12 to 18% increase depending on your type of shipping. So I've spent all morning trying to adjust our shipping. Unfortunately, there's no way for me to buffer the cost for you guys. I wish there was, but there is just no way. So just as a heads up, and I believe the increase is on Monday. And if that's the case, then you guys have two days to get your orders in before price increases on shipping. And I will be very upset if you order, like, a mallet. And uh, I can't have the shipping label printed out before Monday. So don't expect that. <laughs> anyway. Now, <clears throat> sorry guys, I've been sick. Like, everyone in this house has been sick. I know I sound like a frog. We are working on a steampunk ivy costume. I don't know if you guys can see it. Which side is it? Here. See this thing back here? That's the beginning of her costume. That's the skirt. We're going to be working on a... 
brown peasant shirt with some green floral embroidery on it as well as a green satin underbust corset <clears throat> sorry guys so a uh, green underbust corset that's in a, a costume satin with embroidery on it as well and there will be matching bracer type things like the Harley ones that we have probably lace up ones with embroidery on them I know we're going embroidery crazy we're super excited and a pair of matching spats to go with the armbands okay so these will all be things that we will be, uh, be selling as soon as we get them finished however the skirt we happen to find the base for that skirt like really cheap at like an outlet store so until we tear it apart and make a pattern for it the skirt is off the schedule for now however you'll be able to get the rest of the costume for the most part from us Nice. Now, I think that's a bit about it. Ooh, sorry guys, I can't talk today. I haven't done this in so long, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Um, I think I mentioned we're going to be setting up at Cosmicon. I am hoping to do a couple of panels. So for those of you who are interested in getting into cosplay or have questions and stuff like that, feel free to come up to me when this event starts and ask questions. Like, I'll be there, my partner will be there, both of the large and small minions will likely be there. So I have every intention of being able to answer as many questions as humanly possible when it comes to cosplay. We are working on trying to see if we can volunteer to do a couple of panels, including the how-to guide on large prop building or, you know, <laughs> large prop building 101 for cosplayers. Yes, we do large. That's our thing. Um, as well as some of the do's and don'ts of cosplay. So hopefully we can make that happen. I am so excited to actually be finally setting up a booth. We've been at this for a while, guys. So I'm going to get off of here with you guys so I can get back to work because I've got a shirt sitting on my border machine, like staring at me because I haven't done anything with it in a while, and get back to some patches and get some work done. But we will have some of the stuff up for sale in the next couple of days so that way you guys can... Uh, be awesome and you know love us and buy stuff ah, buy stuff all right guys we'll see you later now as always have fun cosplay be you be special okay